is going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here, bringing guys in a video here today, bringing guys a video on how to create, customize, and finalize your own shop within Wix.com. Yes, this is a sponsored video, however, Wix is a returning sponsor, which means they liked me enough, they liked you guys enough, and I think I really do want to say thank you guys so much for supporting me on my videos, especially the sponsored ones as well, because they really do help me out, they help the channel out, and also in today's video, I think they're gonna help you out as well to actually build your own site, your online store. And sort of like really get that thing going. I think it's really dope. I personally needed to do that because I, I've been using Twitter a lot for selling my mascots and stuff like that. So I was like, yo, let's actually build a shop within Wix. So it's very easy. And I'm sure you guys how to do that right here, right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you guys later. Peace. All right, guys, so when it comes to preparation for your own product, you want to do it in the most simplest way possible. For me, that's going to be very, very easy. So I'm doing mascot designs. All I would have to do really is just sort of drag my mascot in here, right? And then I'm just going to say like right there, that's the middle, right? It's going to be the sort of the middle. And for my background, all I'm really going to do is pretty much make a new layer, select the color on my mascot here, and then press all backspace to quick fill it in and for me this would be the most simplest way and also showcasing the product and it's you know solid form and what exactly what the person would be getting if they were to purchase it now even though this is exactly what the person is going to be getting when they get the product you still want to make sure you're protecting your work now if it's something like me like a mascot design or maybe it's a stock picture or something of the sort i'm sure you guys seen watermarks now watermarks are fairly easy to actually set up you can set up one for like you know whatever you need for it to be done for and like literally no time at all so for me i'm gonna show you guys really quickly how i would set up a watermark for something like this so pretty much you can get in a document size 1920 by 1080 p pixels that is perfectly fine just a good enough size to sort of have as a base so what the one thing i would do is i use my pen tool right p on your keyboard for the actual shortcut now up here in the top left you can change your pen tool from shape to path or it might be on path regularly however you might want to change yours to shape because as you can see over here, uh, if you just kind of you know move to your move your move your eyes to the right hand side, you can see this little drop down here. This has dotted lines, sided line, and then like more of a uh, sort of like elongated rectangles. Now I'm gonna use the rectangle one because what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm just gonna make a new layer. I don't believe you need to, but we're just gonna make one anyway. We're gonna make a new layer. I'm just gonna simply click over here on this uh, left bottom left corner, and then top right corner. We're just gonna click one more time, and then over here, this fill. We can turn this thing off. We just want the stroke fill. This is basically it's something like Illustrator, where you have a fill stroke and a excuse me, if you have a fill path and a basic uh, stroke path, and they're two different things. Of sort of they're separate. However, there is no fill in here at the moment because it's just one simple line, and that's what the stroke. That's what we want. So I'm also changing mine to a, a sort of dashed line, not the dotted line. Whichever one works for you guys, but the dashed line looks pretty good to me. And I'm gonna change my points to 0.8 on my keyboard, just like so. And you can see the lines gets very, very, very sort of uh, more dotted. There's more space or I would say there's less space but more rectangles and pretty much at this very moment I can now right click uh, rashers layer and that way it's gonna be simply a dotted line and this would be a lot faster than you actually sort of doing it hand like you know by hand and sort of like lining them up or something like that with like a rectangle tool that is not necessary so pretty much now at this moment you can take a text you can take a logo right just throw it in here just like so control T to shrink it down and I'm gonna say a fair size is about like this I'm going to put it directly where the middle is. I'm going to just find the middle for my eyes, you know, for this case. And I'm going to find the middle, right? And on this path, this, uh, excuse me, this shape path, I'm just going to make it orange so you guys know where to erase. You can take your eraser, take a simple size brush with a uh, nice 100 hardness eraser. That way when you click it, you have to, you know, click many times so you erase it completely. It's one click and it's all gone. So that's what the 100% hardness is for. Pretty much you're going to click, right? Just like so. And I'm just going to basically click until I can say to myself, that I got rid of all, if I just click, I'm gonna just do it again, right? I'm gonna do this th two more times. So one more time over here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm just gonna erase exactly where like the dotted line would end. So if I erase like too much over here or something like that, just finish it, erase that fully, but basically try to keep it as clean as possible. Nextly, just, just drag it over here. I'm using alt and drag by the way to duplicate the layer. And pretty much just rinse and repeat that just twice or three more times or so like that. I would just race this one too as well, right? So it leaves a really nice empty space around the logo design. You can put your little text here if you want to. You don't have to use a logo, but in my case, I do have a logo design. And you want to basically just uh, unhide your background here, or excuse me, hide your background. And then you want to go to edit, uh, define pattern, and then just call it water. I was going to call it watermark, right? Press OK. And then pretty much now I'm gonna go back to my whole little shop sort of presentation thing. And the way I like to do it the quickest way possible is you make a new layer, right? You pretty much can press Alt Backspace immediately. It doesn't matter what color you guys have in there because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna lower our fill down from 100 to zero. Double click on this new layer that you just made with the color on it. Go to Pattern Overlay, 
click the pattern, and then click the last pattern in this little pattern section here because that'll be the last one that you guys made. So pretty much now, take your scale from 100% and just lower it to the left, and now you're going to see something like it looks like a watermark. It looks like something that you can see from people who also, you know, use watermarks and stuff like that. So if you guys wanted to, you can change the, uh, excuse me, you can change the layer mode within the actual pattern overlay. But if you guys wanted to, you can rash as a layer completely. And then you can just change it through normal sort of layering itself. And then you can call it a day. So that's basically how you would make your very own simple, very quick watermark, as well as also presenting your work in the fullest form that it can be shown. So, yeah. All right, so I've created four individual images in Photoshop that I'm going to be using to sell on my Wix store. Let me show you guys how to actually create your own Wix store and actually apply in the Wix editor. Now, I use Wix personally for my website. I think it looks freaking awesome. So if you go to sysohq.com, uh, you can see I've updated my, updated my site, excuse me, and it looks freaking awesome. I think it really does look dope. So if you're ever looking for a website or you're using it as a portfolio like I do, I definitely would suggest you guys to use Wix.com. So if you guys have not seen my other video on how to create your own uh, website using Wix, I'll link that in the description down below for you guys. However, I'm going to show you guys how to add your own Wix store right now by using the app section on the left-hand side in the Wix editor. So uh, let's do this thing right now. Alright guys, so it actually comes time to adding a shop to your website. All you have to do over here is click on this little left hand side and click on the word add. So if you guys are already familiar with Wix, then you guys already know this little add button here. This is all the essentials and all the groups and stuff like that they're going to be using to actually build your website. So like I said before, you can go and check that out in the description down below. However, if you just scroll down here where it says the word store, this is a little option here that says create an online store. So I'm going to click on add to site and this will basically add two different things. It will add a new page and also a little cart icon located on the top right over here. So for your for example, you might have a different example here. Yours might have a, like a whole different sort of like placement images or something like that to sort of get the whole storefront option or the storefront look basically. However, I already explored with the whole shop feature. So mine already says, you know, you have no products at the moment. You already know what you kind of want. So it, already, it has a different option for me because I already used it. But basically it has a store or excuse me, it has a store. Um, page and also has this little icon up here the shopping cart icon so i'm just going to move this over really quickly because i wanted to hover over anything so the shopping cart icon holds your cart so basically however many things that the person is purchasing it'll have a different number here so if they have three things that i have selected then the number three up here will be located uh in the actual little bag besides the zero so if i click on this really quickly this is where your cart is going to be so basically my cart is currently empty but if i had things on this actual site and they had uh selected different options that they wanted um basically you're gonna have different things like uh, you know you have a, like a, basically have a list of things that they've already clicked on they can remove it they'll see a subtotal and also see the checkout option there as well so it's really cool that you click one button you get basically a new page and also a new cart as well it's very it's very just helpful i think it's very helpful so basically i'm gonna go back to editor and i'm sure you guys how to get this thing going so i'm gonna click on this page right here so i'm gonna just click where it says right uh this page has no products and stuff like that yours might have a different thing like a preview but if yours has a preview just click on it somewhere and you have three different options to choose from manage products settings and store pages. So I'm gonna click on the word manage products. <laughs> okay, so this is basically where the whole home is for the whole Wix thing. So I'm clicking on home really quickly. The first thing you definitely wanna do is please connect a payment method. So I'm clicking on the word connect the payment method. Please be sure to connect multiple payment methods if you guys can provide them because people usually have, you know, they wanna have different preferred payment methods. Maybe it's not just credit card. Maybe they wanna use their PayPal. Maybe they don't wanna use PayPal, but they wanna use their credit card. So I would definitely tell you to, to provide as many payment methods as you possibly can. That way people have different options and they're not sort of like, you know, really, really striving to get something and all of a sudden they can't buy it, even though they have the money, but you don't have their payment option. Be sure to add as many payment, payment options as you guys can. So this is where you add your different things. So credit cards, PayPal, and offline payment methods. So be sure to actually add that as well. So product catalog. This is what you're going to be clicking on. This is where all your products are going to be located at. If you guys had multiple of them already, I already have zero though, because I'm, you know, I don't have any right now. We're going to make them though. If I click on the new, new product button here, mine's going to be a digital file, not a physical. You don't have to do uh, an upload a file when it comes to physical, but digital file here. So I'm going to click over here. So this little blue box here is where you're actually going to upload the actual file. So for me, if I click on upload file, you can see the different things you can actually upload, which is an image. Maybe you're, maybe you're selling a stock image audio file where you're selling beats or something like that uh really like i don't know a song whatever the heck you guys are selling documents i mean it's like an ebook or something like a zip file so basically you're gonna be using zip file if any of these other things don't sort of like match what you need so for me i need an ai file to use so documents here it does not support ai files so basically if i want to upload something like a 
uh, Illustrator file, all I have to do here is use a zip file sort of option. So this little example file here, I right click it. And I have 7-zip installed. If you guys want to have 7-zip or WinRAR, this this sort of the same thing, but currently the site only holds 7-zip. So 7-zip right here, right? Add to example, 7-zip. Just uh, basically add to example file dot 7-zip. If I click on that, it will add an example file for me. And basically, you'll see the file right here located. I'll just delete this really quickly so you guys don't get confused. I don't know if it was already there, but I don't know. Let me just see. I don't know. Uh, we're not, okay, add to uh, not, not raw file, excuse me. We're going to 7-zip. Add to 7-zip. There we go. And then the whole little, this little file will locate it right here. So basically, mine's a WinRAR icon because I have WinRAR as my default. But the whole 7-zip file basically will be right here. So pretty much, I go to 7-zip. That's such a hard word to say consistently. 7-zip. There we go. Uh, basically, you can click on upload file. You can have my, you see, already have my file already uploaded here. But if you go to upload file, click on uh, the file that you want uploaded, which is the 7-zip file, which holds my AI file in there. And I can just press upload. And it'll upload it right here. Or I can just drag the folder in as well. However, whichever one you guys do, click on it, add the product. And this is what the person will be actually getting when they purchase it. So for the name, I'm going to add robot mascot because that's what it is right and the pricing i price that like 999 bucks because i can the description for me i'm gonna it's a mascot right so people want to probably be knowing what they're purchasing so for me i'm gonna say this product includes nice little colons and i'm gonna put these little thing right here this will add nice a nice little bulletin marks an ai file uh 4k png images and then let's just say uh, let's just get rid of actually we'll put watermark removed boom I'm gonna make that uh, super bolded so people know that they have no watermark there as well and this little section here is where you actually add your images so the first image that you actually upload will be the image that they use as a thumbnail so I'm gonna click on this image here or this little plus button image and I'm gonna use in this one because this is that that robot mascot that we got going on I'm actually gonna say robot uh, robot let's what it what it is Ro Roman robot there we go Roman robot by the way, this is already sold stuff. I'm just I'm just using it as an example. So the product includes AI file, 4K images, watermark removed, or whatever that guys want to put in your description. You guys put that in there. Your bad boys in there. So uh, also the really cool thing is if I press save really quickly. Like I said before, this is where all your products gonna be located at. So if you had multiple ones, this is where they're all gonna be at. If I want to say to myself, I'm gonna say inventory is currently in stock. For some reason, let's say you run out of stock, you basically click on this. You scroll down here, click on the status, out of stock. You press save and now it'll show up as out of stock it won't remove the whole product from your store but it'll say out of stock so people can really you know maybe like you'll have incentive for people to come back or something like that but if you guys wanted that to say out of stock you guys can actually do that and so basically if i just click this x button here and i click on the word shop and i'm at the shop preview really quickly you'll see that your shop uh your excuse me your uh image is now there your shop is now here ready to cl be clicked on or excuse me your image is now here or your product there we go your product is now here ready to be clicked on so you're gonna have three different sort of like things you're gonna be using uh your editor to update so for one go back over here really quickly you're gonna be using your editor to use let's go back to this uh first page there we go so if i click on here you'll see the word settings so i'm clicking the word settings here this is the first sort of portion uh, or the source of the first sort of thing you can change when it comes to your uh, Actual store here. So for me the first front page has a different setting than your actual checkout page or your preview page Has a whole bunch of different things, right? So if you want to click on your product style if you have like maybe you have expensive stuff And you want the product to speak for itself first so we don't get really scared away from your product prices like that You can have the image only be shown and not the actual uh, pricing and stuff like that so for me I can have it so it can just shows the image itself. They'll click on it, then they'll see the whole price and stuff like that. So if you guys want to do that, you guys can do that just by clicking on that one. Or if you just want to click on the whole original style that looks pretty cool as well, you can do that. Also, the alignment, you can change it. Right now, you can't see the word Roman robot because you have to change the colors. I'm going to show you guys that in a quick second, but image ratio, if you need to change your image ratio, you guys can. Maybe you have multiple products or you want to save space or you have it like maybe they can use these as like iPhone wallpaper images. I don't know. Whatever the heck you guys want to use the image ratio for, you can also change them as well. Styles and colors. Click on the name here. I'm going to make this sure the name can be seen. Roman Robot. Uh, let's also put the price. So we'll make the price. Uh, let's just try to follow a color scheme here. Let's just do like, oops, I clicked on the wrong one. Price make that blue and then we'll make the name like a cool gray maybe maybe why not let's press okay why not all right so now you actually see the actual letters you actually change the alignment of it so i would like to put it in the middle because personally i think that looks the coolest 
And uh, if I had more images in a second, I will show you guys what it looks like with more images. But you guys will flirt with a whole bunch of things when it comes to your gridding, uh, your spacing, all that sort of stuff. And also, uh, the really cool thing I like to do is stretch the full uh, width, which will look really dope when I show you guys with multiple products. But for now, this is sort of the first sort of setting pages that you're going to be using. So um, basically, if I press preview, I click on this again. And you'll see here is where you can go back to editor, click on this. Go to settings again and it'll be a completely different setting options that's what i'm talking about when it says you can use multiple or there are multiple settings for each page to actually you know mess around with so for me i'm gonna go with sleek i think the sleek looks really cool it has like the whole image right there and it sort of has like the whole you know thing like right here as well um i'm gonna change the colors as well naming colors we're gonna change the name to this gray right and we're gonna change the price to this uh this what was this red was it red or pink i think it might have been pink if it wasn't whatever excuse me you can also choose the alignment as well so if you want to have your name on the left hand side and the price in the middle you guys can you can change your fonts by clicking over here i'm gonna click on the middle though i think it looks best in the middle and also you can change uh let's see where is it display settings back button maybe you don't want your button to have like sharp edges and like a rectangle that's kind of boring maybe you're saying that to yourself if you want to have no background on it you guys can um, if you want to have a background on it, but change the style of it, maybe you want to have a rounded buttons area, maybe like that, that looks cool to you or whatever, you can do that as well. I'm going to change this to like this per, uh, this blue, this pink, excuse me, I like pink. For some reason, I like pink. Mine says buy now. Yours might say, uh, I don't know, check out or something like that. You can have it, whatever, you can say, you can have it put, or excuse me, say whatever the heck you guys want it to say. I put mine as buy now. Yours might say add to cart. I can put out check out. You can put out whatever the heck you guys want to put. Maybe you'll only be like, I don't know, whatever the heck you guys want to put. You guys can put that there. I'm going to go back really quickly as well. Page settings. And uh, basically, we want to have like a background here. You guys can have a background, but I will not choose to. I think it looks cool with like having like this. But there's a lot of different options to explore. So when it comes to right here, there's one more preview option that you guys have to change around. So if I click on add or excuse me, check out. Not, now my cart, you can actually see what's in the cart and stuff like that. So if I view, view cart and I'm going to go to here, this option, this little, this page here as well. Back to editor. Click on it. Then also, there's also settings here as well that you got to change. So you can change the name settings. So in styles and colors, change the title, make it, I don't know, yellow. We'll make the page text, I don't know, pink, right? I don't know, something like that. And then basically, you have to change this as well. So you want to make sure you change every single sort of page that you have, like a preview page, your checkout page. All those pages are actually changed and set to where you want to have it. So there's a lot of customization that you're going to have to do. There's also a lot of customization that you have to offer. So it's really cool. It's very like, you know, it's just very fun to work with. And I think it really, really look really dope. Also, I want to make sure I change this right now because it's going to know the hell out of me if I don't change the, uh, the settings here, the rename, excuse me, shop to all capitals. Done. Also, I want to show you guys really quickly what it looks like with multiple things in it. So I'm going to quickly go to uh, here manage products i'm gonna add some more products for you guys and also just basically show you guys what it looks like uh with just more things inside your store so i'm gonna click on digital file i'm clicking some upload file here i'm just gonna use an image it doesn't matter what the heck they're gonna be purchasing because this is an example here but i'm gonna basically add a couple more things and uh yeah we're just gonna just quickly show you guys what it looks like with multiple things inside All right, so I've added three more products in my store for a total of four now to actually show you guys some different settings that you guys have with multiple products in your store. So I'm gonna just quickly X that out. And you can see now I have four different images here, four different products now, if I click on settings. Um, I was talking about the whole stretch to full width thing. I think this looks freaking dope. It just fills the entire space of your page with the actual mascot itself. And I think it looks honestly incredibly dope. Now I didn't tell you guys this before, but let me click on settings really quickly again. Settings. Uh, you have different options like right here if you hover over it, you saw me it's you saw it zoom in that's a different hover style alternate is like it alternates between different pictures but i do not have different pictures so if you guys had different pictures if you hover over it they will see different multiple pictures however i had it on zoom because i only have one picture because i only need one picture and basically when they hover over it, it zooms in i think it looks freaking cool as well so basically the whole stretch the full width thing if that's not your style sure but if you want to make multiple columns that's what this is down here if i had multiple columns let's say i have two columns now I can basically give each sort of product itself, uh, I guess, more of its, I guess, spacing. I guess, how would I say it? Uh, if I were to try to do this, I would probably do this in a way that would have it. So I guess each individual product has its own detail that can be seen. Besides four different images, it's kind of hard to focus on one, right? But even with this whole column thing here, this still looks freaking dope when he stretches the full width. 
so for me for mascot designings i think this looks freaking dope for people to actually see the entire mascot and it's like i guess in its entirety and sort of like get really nice and focused on each individual one besides looking at four right it's kind of hard to like look at all of them in detail but this way I think it looks freaking dope and I would advise you guys if you guys are doing mascot designs or something like that or stock images whatever this I think it looks so dope when you fill the space in I, I just I'm a, I'm a fan of this I don't know I'm a really honestly a big fan so down here like I was saying before if you had something out of stock let's say someone purchased this wolf mascot right I'm gonna go ahead and just go into the uh, settings again manage products excuse me not settings and I'm gonna go to the wolf and I'm gonna just go down here where it says in stock. I'm gonna press out of stock, save that. So if I sold it, it's sold now. It's still there my sh if my store, if I don't have like a portfolio like I already do, however. But if I didn't have a portfolio, I can have when I get, uh, I guess I can keep it up basically. Or if it was something that was something, I guess something that was physical or something like that, or like multiply had multiple of, but you didn't have stock now, you can make it say out of stock. So basically, click preview again. If it's out of stock, sure, if you can still view it, they can still see the description and everything, but when it comes to checking it out, they cannot do that now. So basically, it's going to be out of stock, but when, of course, when you put it back in stock, then they'll be able to, of course, purchase it again. So it's very freaking handy, and I really got to say to myself and to you guys that Wix has honestly the coolest when it comes to, like, I guess getting rid of the whole coding thing, it's really dope. Like, you can still code on the Wix website. It's not going to be as custom as you would probably like it to be if you were a coder yourself. But if you were a coder, you probably code your own website. So if you're not into that, if you're not trying to learn all that crazy stuff, I honestly think it's really, really dope to change your alternative or to use the alternate of Wix to actually build your website and the whole shop thing as well. I think it just makes complete sense because truthfully i was selling mascots on twitter i'm gonna use it on, i'm gonna use my actual site now but i was selling mascots on twitter and it was just sort of like a it was kind of not a hassle however i, I might have missed some people who actually dm me first and was like hey i want to purchase it but i only catch the person who did it like the recent it's kind of difficult sometimes really difficult to handle that situation but something like this it's very handy very simple the payment method is already there they see it they buy it you close it down all that stuff just gets it's just all the frustration or whatever just goes away and it's really dope and i really advise you guys to use wix for your wix or for, your, to, for building your website right so thank you guys so much for freaking watching don't forget to film on twitter uh, follow me on twitter at suspicu don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already more tutorials coming soon and also thank you guys so much uh at wix for of course sponsoring me with a video once again i'm very glad that you guys came back and liked me enough and you guys liked the audience enough so i really do appreciate that as well and also thank you guys for supporting the videos even though like you know they're informative i think it's really cool that i even though if i do sponsor videos you guys don't like go crazy about it you know it's really dope that i do i choose the sponsors that i really think i enjoy i use wix myself for my website right i think it looks really dope by the way if you guys haven't yet to see it the whole feedback thing i got customer feedback i got like supporter feedback so if you want to be a supporter feedback you can leave a nice comment if you don't leave a nice comment i might delete it if it's just weird i don't know i just might do it i have that option so uh yes Thank you guys so very much. Like I said, again, do not forget to follow the video that, are, excuse me, do not forget to check out the video that I have in the description for building your website if you guys want to like learn how to build it. But I'm going to be going and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you guys later. Ciso HQ out and peace. Now forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> All right. Later.